All right, well, thank you all. <clears throat> the gang, uh, the band is back together again. Uh, last night, I think, was good for the country. Last night, 63 senators voted to send not only a message to China that we're no longer going to tolerate your manipulation of currency because it's affecting job creation here in America, but to give our own government tools to fight back in a responsible form. This is good, solid legislation, and in an age where you cannot agree that Sunday should be a holiday, getting 63 senators in, in this environment speaks volumes to the issue. So what's left? We've got to get the House to bring it up. It is very important that the House Republican leadership allow a vote on this legislation. I am confident that if it came to the floor of the House, 350 votes are most likely to be had there. To the President, uh, we're, we need you. Now's the time to lead. I want to I don't tell you what candidate Obama said. The problem is that for all the tough talk of George W. Bush, he's a patsy when it comes to negotiating these agreements. And what we need to do is to just be better bargainers and say, look, here's the bottom line, you guys. Keep on manipulating your currency. We're going to start shutting off access to some of our markets. That was candidate Obama. Well, that's the guy I want leading this issue. President Obama has got concerns about our legislation. An open, open invitation to the president. If you can make this better, we're all willing to accept adjustment to the House le Republican leadership. You're miscalculating where the country is on this issue. We need to be voting on things very, very important. China manipulates their currency from 25 to 40 percent, is devastating to the American economy, and the Chinese foreign minister threatened the Senate. He said this was callous disregard for the Chinese position. I have a callous disregard for the Chinese position when I think it is cheating. Now, you have a callous disregard for the rules of the road. China has a callous disregard for the rule of law. They cheat at every turn. They steal intellectual property. They counterfeit goods, affecting our defense industries, and they manipulate their currency. We don't have this kind of discussion with normal uh, nations. We don't have this kind of discussion with democracies. You're having this kind of discussion with a communist dictatorship, with a command and control economy that's acting like the mob. To American politicians, do not be afraid to stand up for the American worker. It will serve you well. Do not let China threaten something they're not capable of doing. They need us just as much as we need them, if not more so. And all we're asking our Chinese friends to do is play by the rules, and we know you can't get there overnight, but show some willingness to embrace the rule of law. Show just some signs that you care about the rule of law. Quit being so mercantilist that people can't do business with you. So this is a call by the group that started this for the last seven years to the President of the United States. If you don't like this bill, help us write a better bill to the leadership of the House. Don't block a vote on something that really is important for American job creation and to our Chinese trading partners. We will trade with you, we will work with you, but we will not be abused by you. There is no apologies coming from the United States Senate for fighting for the American worker. And with that, I will turn this over to Sherrod Brown.